Hi, my name is Dave J. Petro with the Seaman Company Technical Services, and in this video, I'll be showing you the features and functions of our new Ultramax Turbo Tool. Let's take a closer look. So as you can see, there's a cutting die in here for trimming the conductors. This lever here can flip up to provide easier access to load the outlet onto this rotating piece here that is shaped like an RJ45 plug and therefore effectively keyed to ensure the Ultramax outlet is loaded securely in the correct orientation. With the cable laced into place, the outlet is loaded and rotated with the cable side here up as indicated by the text provided on top of the lever shown here. The conductors to be trimmed will then be in the correct position to be cut as indicated by the cut side text provided down in the lower portion of the tool. This is the same general location as the cutting blade. So when the outlet is loaded, you'll want to make sure that this is rotated such that the conductors to be trimmed are positioned properly. And ideally coming out the side opening of the tool so they can drop out freely without getting caught up inside the tool. So double check that the cable side is up, cut side down with the lever back to the closed position and the outlet is seated down into the base of the tool and the outlet is now ready for termination. You don't want to be in this position. Obviously the blade would not be aligned to cut properly. So check for proper positioning with conductors to be trimmed position down and hanging out the side openings. So this is the correctly laced and loaded outlet ready for termination. Now before I terminate, if you're wondering why we allow this to rotate or pivot, that's because the cable can't be laced into the module from either direction. So let me show you a comparison. Here is the other option here. As you can see, you uh, if you want the cable to exit the back of the outlet in one direction, you have the option to lace the cable from that specific side of the outlet. So for example, if you are using the flat mount option with the latch side down and the outlet contacts pins up, which is recommended to limit dust settling on them, uh, then the two options would look like this. If the cable needs to exit left into your pathway, to eliminate the need for an excessive bend to your cable all the way over like this, you can bring the cable into the lacing post from the left side. Alternately, if you know your cable will be exiting into your pathway to the right side, then you would want to bring the cable into the lacing post from the right side. So you have two options for cable entry and lacing, and there's certainly some flexibility allowing the cable to exit up or down to one of the sides or, or even straight back for patch panel applications. In tight spaces, the installers may want to choose the preferred side ahead of time, of course, to prevent any excessive bends in the cable exit. So cable entry side is only a matter of installer preference to accommodate pathway direction. It doesn't have any correlation to the wire scheme that you're dealing with. So this is the reason for the pivoting portion of the tool to allow the conductors to be trimmed on either side. For example, with the cable entering the A side of the lacing posts, the outlet would be rotated with the cut side down. If using the opposite cable entry option, you obviously don't want to cut off the cable side, so the pivot allows you to rotate the outlet 180 degrees for the opposite cable entry. Now this cutting die is replaceable and if the blade seems to be getting dull it's just a matter of removing the blade cartridge with a Phillips screwdriver. This Phillips screw is found here. The cartridge is simply lifted out and replaced and you're ready to go for more terminations. One other feature is the locking latch here that allows you to lock the handle closed like this storage and when using the tool the latch can be secured up out of the way here. So with fingers clear from the top of the tool squeeze the handle until the conductors drop off to complete your termination. 
Then lift the lever to remove the outlet and lastly install the termination cap. And that is your termination of the Ultramax jack with the Ultramax Turbo Tool. Thank you for watching and check out the other Ultramax product line videos at Seaman.com.